Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover comparing fractions with the same numerator using fraction strips. Let's jump into number one, where we have one sixth and one half. So reading this from left to right, we have one sixth is greater than, less than, or equal to one half. So which fraction is greater? Well, if we have fractions with the same numerator, all we have to do is compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Now here, we're going to use fraction strips to help us visualize this. So we have two fraction strips below, one showing sixths and one showing halves. So one of the strips is divided into six equal parts and the other is divided into two equal parts. Let's shade one sixth right here. So one sixth. And then we can shade one half right here. So one half. Which fraction strip has more shaded in? Which fraction is greater? Well, we can see that one half is greater, but how does that work? Because both fraction strips have one part shaded in. So how is one of these fractions greater than the other? Well, it's because of the denominators. The fraction strip up top, so the fraction strip showing sixths, is divided into six equal parts and the fraction strip showing halves is only split into two equal parts. Basically, when we have the same numerator, we can compare the fractions by looking at the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. That's because the larger a denominator is, the more parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are smaller. The smaller a denominator is, the fewer parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are bigger. So again, if we have fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Those equal parts of the whole are bigger. So we have more of the whole, a greater portion of the whole. And we can see that with these fraction strips. Even though we have one part shaded in for each fraction strip, one half is greater. Now remember, the comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our symbol goes like this, and we can read this comparison from left to right as one sixth is less than one half. Let's move on to number two, where we have four eighths and four sixths. So reading this from left to right, four eighths is greater than less than or equal to four sixths. Well, let's think about this and use these fraction strips. So one of the holes, one of the fraction strips is divided into eight equal parts and the other hole, the other fraction strip is divided into six equal parts. The fraction strip divided into six parts will have bigger parts than the fraction strip divided into eight. So four sixths is going to be greater. Let's show that with these fraction strips. And we'll start with four eighths right here. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, and four eighths. Now we need four sixths right here. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, and four sixths. Now we can see that four sixths is greater. More of the fraction strip is shaded in. So our comparison symbol goes like this, and we can read this comparison from left to right as four eighths is less than four sixths. So there you have it. There's how to compare fractions with the same numerator using fraction strips. Just remember, if fractions have the same numerator, compare the denominators. 
the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.